What's the word? What's the word? Y'all know what time it is, man. It's Locker Mates, Arthur yeah. Motes, Terrence Garvin, aka TG. You know where we at. You know how we feeling, man. It's a great day, man. Football is back in full effect. My yeah. dog, I see you decked out. You got your, your FMU gear on. Fresh out. What, what's the word? Y'all boys in training camp, man. Like, what, what, how you feeling today, bro? Got them things on our head. We uh, we working. Okay, you know okay. I mean? Moving some coverages. We trying to show some things. Yeah. We we working up here. You know what I mean? Moving the line. Like you know, linebackers moving. We shuffling. We breaking. Yeah. It's what a time to be alive. Okay, okay. We get to. We get to. Let's in go. The time, Let's time, go. We get to. We don't got to. We Let's get go. to. So, you know, Let's I'm, go. I'm thankful we get to. So we out here getting to it. We not seeking talk, comfort. Talk. We working out here. You we know? can't see so, coming. That's what we can't do. You know what time that is, come. bro. Absolutely, don't man. Come. All right. Well, shoot. You know we ultra competitive, man. Defense, y'all had practice day, man. Did the defense win today or did the offense win today? Let's keep it a buck. All right? Y'all know what time it is, to, man. Did the defense was, win the day? definitely a good day. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Definitely a good day. You know? No, but, you know, you know, bro. you know how it is. It's never as good or it's never as bad as you think. You know what I mean? Yeah. The tape, it's always going to be better, so. Y'all here just trying to work, you know. I'm, nah, I'm on my coach Tom, that, and I'm trying to work, you know. Trying to nah, do respect, it, respect, bro. Like, I gotta get some shades, man. I gotta get my coach T on rocking. You know what I mean? Had the shades hey, on hey. you, that, that oh, Blake hey, thing. Hey, and, and I will say this though, <laughs> Coach T done stepped up his game too. He out there in them low boy twelves. He got the taxis on his feet. Okay, those his new okay. practice kicks now. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So he definitely okay. he acting the brand white. new. He the acting white. brand new. Yeah, the he acting real brand white. new. Yeah, I was, like, oh. I was like, I was like, Coach, you out here with some J's now? I was like, that's what we doing? Yeah. Okay, okay. He do that. Yeah. He do that. He do yeah. No, no, facts, facts. But I was like, okay, I see you, though, baby. I see you. But, man, Coach T's talking swaggy, about though. Coach T. No, man, he been, but you know where he's from, but you know what time it is, man. Coach you can't be from here and not have a little drip. Well, you know where he's from, bro. Okay. 757, man. You know okay. what it is, man. Come on, baby. Ain't nothing but a thing, okay. man. It's something in the water. That's what they say. It's something in the water down there. Yeah, okay. man. Shout out to but fire, but when we okay. talking Coach T, you know we gotta talk that Steelers talk too, and bro, yeah. it's crazy buzz coming from around there right now, man. A lot yeah. of buzz, man. We know last week we had the craziness of GP and Young Peasy Jr. Since then, we didn't had an injury to one of our young rookies that we had some expectations for in terms of Corey Trice done for the season, man. That definitely sucked. But we've also had a dude make a little bit of a position change and get some new buzz, some new life surrounding him, man. We talking yeah. about young Kendrick Green, man, getting the reps at yeah. fullback. Started out on Friday Night Lights, and he still has taken multiple reps, even uh, doing some of the warm-up drills and stuff like that with the fullbacks, man, handling the rock. So what are your thoughts, what were your initial reactions to Kendrick Green, man, playing fullback. Not sure if you've seen the clips of him just yet, man. But if you haven't, bro, you you, you, you definitely need to go. <laughs> he's, you definitely need to go peek very him, bro. <laughs> Say, <yo. laughs> yeah. He's over. Hey, bro, Pittsburgh really gonna get a twenty-two personnel to get at you. Mm. They really might play that game. You they see really it. might. You see They it, really bro. might bring that. They really might. I don't want to. I don't want to say right. these words, but like they really might change this league back. Mm. They really right. on there. We're getting back in 22 personnel. And we're about uh -huh. to hand this off 32 times. In the game. You know what's yeah. coming. They said, Get hey, ready. Look, they said all that nickel, all uh, that dog. Can he set yeah, that, that edge? Can he, can, can he set that edge when that guard pulling around? When when it's 22 and that's that fullback coming up on it? Can he set that? Because that's what we about to be seeing. That's I feel huge. like. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's huge. Hey, with a Y off. In that, you see in jail, how it moved, huge. bro. You saw when that's I looked huge. at the clip, bro. Him lined yeah. up wide off, and he goes yeah. and hits the backside linebacker. I say, bro, got to run and start that linebacker. Didn't yeah. stand a chance. But He's sitting that's... there like, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm gonna force this. I'm like, bro, you about to get killed. <laughs> like, that's yo. a little wave. Right? That's a yeah. little wave. You know they had doing stuff like Trent. that. Trent was, Trent was doing yeah. it last year too. Trent was like, why you got to focus out there with the Niners last year? I can yeah. Use, use dude. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. nice. That's all right. I, I yeah. like it. Vince called it first. Yeah. Vince Williams called it first. He definitely Joe did. Vince Facts. Called Facts. Called Facts. He definitely did, bro. And it was dope, too, man, because we actually had a chance to talk to Vince. Uh, that was 
Thursday. No, actually, it would have been Saturday, the day after. Uh, the day after, you know, Kendrick went out there, and he definitely, man, one of the things he talked about even more so was just, you know, when you talk about Kendrick's athletic ability, but also yeah. Kendrick's limitations. The limitations were never he was afraid of contact. It was never he's a guy that doesn't have a heart for it. It was just, right. yo, he's too small. Now right. you transition from, you know, having to punch up to now you get to punch down. Now you're the bigger yeah. body. Now you're the bully. You're the bully yeah, in this I'm world. Like, that's, that's a yeah. whole nother element. Like, I say, bro, if you Kendrick, man, you're thanking your football gods for this change of luck right here because, like, right. this changes a lot in terms of how he's viewed and ultimately the value that he brings now to this right. offense, man, when you talk about some of the versatility that we're seeing. Yeah, I think it changes his – I think it. he's valuable, he's super valuable. He brings super value because right. that's a position. Know. And yeah. especially the way they're looking like they about to get in this 22 person mm-hmm. that just pound you, you out. You see what like, time it is, bro. You see what time hey, it is. Like, that's not, like, you, I see the movie. I see it right on the yeah, wall. Yeah. You know what I mean? And don't bring all right, that, don't bring your safety down here because I'm trying. I'm bro, trying you on that one-on-one. You know, you know, it know it's getting out there. Yeah. I'm trying you yeah. out there. If you leave that by himself, I'm trying. I'm throwing it up. Hey, you see look, you've seen the way it's been cooking. You've seen the way it's been coming back catching it, bro. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. there. Like Absolutely. The, make the referee, I, I make, the referee like make the call. I always like the comeback catching, though. Yeah, he's, make he's the referee a good, make the call, too. <clears throat> his game. When he yeah. named his five wide receivers, everybody was kind of saying different stuff. But I'm like, you can yeah. tell because that's his style of play. Like, he named uh-huh. big play type people. Randy is. Moss is, you know what yeah. I mean? Calvin Johnson is. Yeah. Even how people were surprised mm-hmm. about that Crabtree, but if you remember Crabtree game, it was real swaggy, but combat right. catch. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He didn't, so, it wouldn't be like a crazy amount of separation, but it was like, yo, he could get open and he was going to come there with that catch. football. Absolutely. Gonna Absolutely, catch. bro. Uh, yeah. Man, I like that move at fullback. He looked good. He's smashing yeah. dudes. You know, you know how to pick up yeah. a pass. He can pick up in the mm-hmm. past game. He can smash in the run game. I, I always kind of like. Think like, about it. Bags on. I said if he's in bags on bags, he has to pick up a blitz. He's not worried about any linebacker yeah, yeah. blitzing him, bro. He's not worried about yeah. none of that, man. Yeah. I mean, low key. Yeah, he's waiting him, uh, for him. Yeah, but I said <laughs> it, it kind of watching him and his clips from Friday night reminded me of Patrick uh, uh, Patrick Ricard over in uh, Baltimore, uh, the fullback. Ricard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, bro. Yeah, Ricardo, yeah. I'm like, man, that's the same dudes. 5'10", 300 pounds, can move well enough in space that he is a handful to deal with as a defender when you're talking about setting edges against that and even the occasional slip out. We even saw Kendrick have a, a, a completion on Friday as well, man. Literally. Okay. Same concept, right? I didn't hit you, I didn't hit you. Now I'm going to slip you, get to the flat. He actually caught it too, man. So shout out to I'm him, sure man. He's the time in his life right now in that bro, back. Man. You got a chance to touch the I ball. Swear, a big I watched him doing it. Hey, look, okay. I was watching him do it. Indy with the running backs. <laughs> yo, hit the do do do. They hit the joint. Oh. He had to spin. <laughs> I say yo. I say yo, like a kid, bro. He like he was having so much fun. I'm like, bro. Okay. He probably has not felt this much like happiness in a right. Steelers uniform. Since right. when he was probably drafted, because we obviously know everything that took place, you know, since then. But I'm like, yo, he looked like he was having just so much fun, just big, 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 spin it off. I'm like, bro, all right. Bro, I'm sure he's having the time of his life. Yeah. Every time he touches the yeah, ball, yeah. he think he probably raise you with it. Like, <laughs> I, 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 you know, he's cheesy too. That's the other part. Every time he comes, he probably big smile. Man. No, Don't let him have some hate. Dollars, bro. He might get on that kick return a little bit, not like, right, you know, like that. Right. Nah, you been up back. You been up back. Yeah. You been up back long. Oh, facts. Yeah. 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 Here we go. That's all right. Dog like that. Bro. That's all right. But nah, shout That's out to him, right. though, man. I'm excited to see, like I said, for him, man, just <clears throat> they're continuing to develop that role for him, right? It's a great opportunity, mm-hmm. but he has to continue to make sure that he's doing everything right, man. When they do call your number on it whether it's in a practice setting or hopefully we'll be seeing this friday night in that preseason game but whenever you get them opportunities man just go out there and execute it because you bring a lot more value as a guard that can play fullback than as a dude that can just be an undersized guard or center you know what i mean so like for him now i just think that it really brings his value 
and just, you know, immensely ups it for him, man. It's a great feeling, man, because that was not the case, you know, a couple of days ago, man. But salute him on that, man. man. And, yeah. Now, but I, I seen him run down the that. little tunnel. You know, you see how you can yeah. see his joy uh-huh. down the tunnel. Mm-hmm. That, you know, you know. Mm-hmm. That, I know the kids. I'm happy to be out here. Let's work. Let's work. Thanks, bro. <laughs> get to. We don't got to. We get to. So it's yeah, like, you can feel yeah, that. Yeah. You can feel yeah, that yeah, energy, bro. So that's dope. It's good. Yeah, when you enjoy fun. it, man, good things happen, too. So, you know, yeah, I'm sure he'll super excited. It's like that. Yeah. Yeah, that joy is back. So he'll have a good year. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's that's good. That's what's up. Shoot. Now, we also have had the Steelers dropping their first official depth chart. Now... We know whenever that first official one comes out, man, everybody overreacts or underreacts to it. But actually, now they overreact to it. Oh, man, you starting over there, man? I can remember multiple times in my career when they put a first official depth chart out. And they'd be like, hey, bro, I knew you was going to be the guy. I knew you was going to beat that guy out. You're like, hold on, bro. It ain't even like that. I could assure you, man. <laughs> Don't believe me. Don't believe that. They just put up there. Don't overthink. Don't, Don't overthink, bro. They just... They're just throwing that out there, bro. A lot can change in these next. And the depth years, bro. chart that you see is not it's the not same the depth, depth chart, chart that's going on today. It's a different <laughs> one today. That would have been yesterday's depth chart. A oh, lot has no, changed. A lot can change, bro. A lot can change. Lot can change but I know, hey, they, they was over there making a big ordeal. Man, no rookie is listed as the starter on the depth chart. What's going on? We like, hey, bro. <laughs> Don't y'all buy into this depth chart they just dropped. All right. This depth chart yeah. is, is, think of it as a figment of your imagination. It's here one day. Yeah. It's going the next. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You but no, man. Mick is back. Mick is back. That 3 9 is it back. There, bro. That 3 9 yeah, is he, back. He was you back. See that? The, uh, him and DeMonte Casey, they both uh, were actually uh, back out there practice together um, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, they were, they were both back there on Saturday, and then they practiced again on Sunday. So that was the first time, you know, back to back days we had our starting safeties, at least on paper. I out think there and yeah, I man, think he just me. get that aura, like it just he just get that aura though, you know that like. Okay, okay. Hey, look, uh, I'm like, gonna I, I was out there, bro. Yeah, TG, so I was out there, bro. Right. When Mink wasn't there, you like all right, bro. You still feel good about the defense, but it felt like it was missing something. Yeah. All we had to do was just see him walk down that there here, blacked out, visor, yeah. yeah. and when he started to warm up, it just felt a lot different. I remember watching yeah. the guys warm up. And you know how like when we was out there, like we would warm up, and he had like L. Bell doing his warm up, or A. B. had like his warm up. Like this is just a little different. You watch Mink, and it was like, whoa, who is this guy moving like that? What is it? Why does that look so different than this over here? And then you realize, oh, that's me, bro. That's what it's supposed to look like. But, bro, he just brings a certain energy, man. He brings a certain level of confidence to this defense. And the guys play differently when he's out there. You look at all them young DBs, man. You look at them inside linebackers, man. There's a lot more confidence. Dudes just fly around. And I think that's the element that you really can't put like a value on but it's just something about it when you talk about a guy like Mink being there man like the confidence just goes up you just believe a little bit more man yeah which I just think he got that aura that feel like you know he's out there you know you know he's out there three nines right it feel like it three nines but I like that swag you got the swag middle either you ain't gonna cross that middle like that come on I like. I just like. I like his aura. Like I don't know. Like I kind of was watching it too. You know what I mean? And I feel. I seen it before, and I kind of feel like I seen like three nine back. It just feel like three nine back. Like all right, let's work. Let's different. work. Different. Yeah, let's work. Let's work. <laughs> so yeah, I like. I like. I don't know. You. I like that still a D right now. I like what the still. Oh, about it's crazy that I say that. I said it. But I like how he's about to get it as 22 personnel. And I see it he coming. He's that about bully ball, bro. He's about to bully the ball, bully ball, He'll do it. He'll do it. Facts. He'll do it. Facts. He'll be the person to do it. Like, mm-hmm. bully ball is back. Let's well, work. What y'all want to do? I mean, you, you, but you think about the Steelers. Like, they're not afraid to be different. They're not afraid to zig whenever no. else zags. 
Like and that's what I mean. Do the power running game, play defense, and choke you out. And we've already seen mm-hmm. that method work. Even going back to when Duck and Mason were starting quarterbacks, the year when Seven got hurt, we saw that sure. method where it was we're gonna play heavy defense, and James Conn ended up going to the Pro Bowl if I remember. You know what I mean? Or it was during that time. But to yeah. me. I'm like, man, we could do those exact same things this year, but we got that added element of when them defenses actually overreact and overcommit to stopping this run, we got a receiver out there that can really hurt you. Shoot, I even love the fact that out of 22 personnel, man, if we want, you know you could still explode that uh, that package, man. When you talk about Pat Fryer move, because move could play in space. You talk about Darnell Washington, he could play in space. You talk about True. Najee Harris. Najee can play in space. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, you can yeah. have somebody in a bad way get caught out there in base personnel, and now I got linebackers trying to guard Pat Fryer moving down there in Washington in space. Yeah, that's what you want? Come on, man. Or you can try to go one high against it and bring that safety on down. Hey, hey, hey. And good luck. 14 over there by himself. Just one throw on you one. over there by himself. One on one, he's open, bro. You know that. <laughs> 14 one over one, there by open, himself. Bro. You might can do something with that. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm with you, bro. They got a little, they little, I think they fight underdog. I think they're trying to play the underdog role. You know, like, oh, nobody yeah. sees us. Um, I think they're putting it together. Well, I mean, um, but I, not a lot of people are, I, you know, big on the Steelers yeah. to that extent when you talk about versus the division just because of the yeah. other pieces that have been added to the division, right? So I get that part, but I'm with you, man. Like, Steelers building yeah. something, man. They definitely are. Yeah, it's quiet. It's one of those yeah. quiet, like, I can mm-hmm. see that quietly. Them, You see them sneaky, like, 6-0. Yeah. and no. You know? One of them, mm-hmm. like, oh, that's rolling mm-hmm. over there. What's that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's like, it's quiet, I'm just, but you it's, know. It's quiet, it's, but it's a little buzz around it, there. Uh-huh. It's quiet, but it's a little buzz. Or that, let me say more like that. That 3-0 and o team, you like, what's what is that? That's yeah. that's not bad up there, that? you know. Yeah, what is that? Cause you know, you know, like the Chiefs gonna get the buzz. Like certain right. places just gonna get a lot of loud buzz in the beginning. Mm-hmm. But it's them quiet. Hey, it's it's all right up here. We playing good yeah. ball, you know. Uh, we and, growing and still. the style of Those ball two. that they play is not the flashy style. It's not gonna be you know something's right. gonna win a ton of style points. But right. it's highly effective. When we were talking about winning games, that was the one thing that we all saw last season. That second half of the year, it wasn't style points. It was execution. It was run the ball. It was defense. It was we're going to get up out of this state and we know how to get up out of here. And to me, I feel like early on, man, we will see some similarities to that, man, where it's just, man, we just getting out of that stadium. We just getting the dub. Win, win, win. Stack them up, man. But, yeah, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. You don't think they want to let Kenny throw it around the field, though? <clears throat> no, they're going to. But what I mean you is this. You don't think they want to throw it around like, the field? So put it like this. So check it like this. He's going to throw the ball, but to act like it's going to be closer to the first half of the season where he was getting 40 to 50 attempts versus mm-hmm. to act like it's going to be closer to the end of the season, I personally think it's going to be more close to the end of the season. Maybe a handful more attempts, but I don't feel like it's going to be a drastic shift like I was at the beginning of the season where they just rolled that joint out. It's like, yo, Kenny, throw it. Like, be the guy. Like, I don't think they're going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> How you feel like you think, gonna, like you think they can roll it out like that? It's, it's weird because it seemed like they really building this ground, like they building this ground and pound because quietly that offensive yeah. line is like, all right. It's, yeah. it's all right. And it's deep uh-huh. a little bit too. Yeah. It's actually yeah. real deep, you know. Mm-hmm. So he got options and what he want to do with different stuff. Yeah. So it's like they quietly got a stick in it, you know. That's yeah. all right. They are actually they quietly yeah. all right. Good defense, nice D line. You got to see what them linebackers are. You got to see what them linebackers are. You know. You got <laughs> you got big corners out there, you know. And you know, Coach T is sneaky getting that cover too. Yeah. 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 He love that fire That's zone. Right. He got guys right. you can run. No matter what you say, like, even if whatever people want to say, like, that joke, that JPJ, he getting better every day. You can see it. He's no, getting better yes, every day. Like, so literally, no. so everybody talked about the, the one play with Pickens, right? <clears throat> and you can make the case of however you want to play it, right? OPI is clean, mm-hmm. cool, whatever. 
Since then, bro, he didn't put together. He didn't have what three picks since then in practice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just been locking stuff yeah, up. Right. Shoot the one day, shoot the last practice. It got to the point Coach T ended the joint because JPJ gets the pick in two minutes on Kitty to end the practice. He hollers mm-hmm. at GP. Coach T hollers at GP. He's like, hey, bro, the young boy won that today. The young boy, he won today. Just know that. Yeah, so I'm like, all right. Already just trying. You know how he does, man. So I love that. Up that competition. Oh, yeah, yeah I love it. I too. love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah but he's like going at him. So I'm up. like, I can't wait until tomorrow's practice. Cause now I'm like, oh, they didn't have a chance to like sit. They didn't have a chance to like he had to think about that for a little bit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, I want to see how you how that respond tomorrow, bro, after the off day. Yeah. I like that courtesy do that. I like that he of just yeah, playing. He like, no, he's like, like, hey, he won today. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you know that, but the young boy won today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I try to put that in my book like real that. tough, that transparency. I try to use that uh-huh. real tough, like you I'm very it. transparent. I, shout out Coach you need T. It though, like, bro. You need it, though. That's yeah, Coach T right there, bro. Facts. Yeah, that's if a you know, you know, bro. If you know, you know. What's your number one Tomlin is? Tomlinism. What was mm. your, <clears throat> what was your Tomlinism? Yeah. Man, so for me, man. What's your? I love, I love Don't See Comfort. And, um. Don't yeah because i never want to see comfort like when i learned about that when i'm like oh this is clutch you know we just talk about handling adversity because yeah. that's literally what it's about how do you handle adversity and you think yeah. about i mean you are just as as i am with some of this stuff bro like the people who are able to say okay this is the issue let's take it on all right let's come with a plan and let's execute it man they always have mm-hmm. a lot more success handling adversity versus the ones who are constantly making excuses, man, it happened because of that person. It happened because you didn't do it or ah, ah, ah. it's like, yo, it's always an excuse. I'm like, bro, it don't matter why it happened. What happened, happened. Now, how are we going to get past this, you know? And that's the part I love about that not seeking comfort part. So that's why for me, that's always fire. And then you don't want to paint with a broad brush. That's my other joint, man. Hey, don't be generalizing me. Don't be painting me with no broad brush, bro. You got to chill out, man, all right? Don't be... You need something... Oh, Moses, is a, he's a YouTuber. Hey, bro, that's such a broad brush, bro. That's a broad brush, bro. Don't be painting me like that. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's an okay. athlete. Nah, nah, don't you broad brush me like that, bro. Nah. Okay. So you can't paint with a broad uh, brush, perfect. man. <laughs> what you uh, got, though? Perfect. What you got? <laughs> man, definitely, we get to. We get to. Mm. He's... Yeah. Get to. I'm like, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> hey. We get to. You feel me? I want yeah. volunteers not present. I was, I was yeah. literally just supposed to say, yo, volunteers not present. Volunteer. You feel me? Like, I oh, love Lord. that, bro. Yo, bro, I love it. I Even the standard is the standard. Lie. Like, as chill the as standard, that is, I'm like, bro, that's such a vibe, bro. Like, bro, the standard is the standard. Like, I don't care about bro. nothing you got to tell me, bro. Bro, not to use his cuss words, but I used to love when he used to talk about bitches. Then he'd be like, it's yeah! For you. <laughs> yeah! Telling yeah! somebody a problem yeah! that can't help your problem. <laughs> or they glad and that you got just, him. <laughs> and he just thought yes! it's your problem. Yes! I used to be yes! like, I felt that. I used to be like, Yo, I felt that, said, man. Bro, like, I, I that. will never forget when he dropped that one, bro. <laughs> I feel like I'm literally that. Said, <laughs> he said, yo, you telling somebody your problems, they either don't care or they glad yeah. that you got them. I said, God, it's like it's your problem. Oh, he said, I'm glad that you're dealing with that one, man. Yeah, I used to be like, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. So, <laughs> but that's that's Coach T, though, bro. That's Coach T. Yeah. He got them for days, bro. He got them drinks oh, for days. Hey. Shoot, man. But... It's not the mic. Think it's... about it though, but that's the thing though. And I remember I actually had a chance to ask him, you know, or actually I've heard him talk about this. And he was saying how he speaks like that because it could be thirty years from now you'll never forget it. He's like in the yeah. heat of the moment when you coach in the heat of battle, like we got to just be able to say something and you know it. I can't explain every single thing. He's like, yo, but if I say don't see comfort, you get instantly what I'm talking about. If I say, man, yeah. it's about the minutia, you know it, the standard, standard, next man up. Like, you know, I want a volunteer, not a hostage. It's not what you're capable of, it's what you're willing to do. Willing to like, do. you know exactly, I'm like, all right, I got you, baby. I got you, all right. Yeah. 
It's not what I'm capable Ooh, of. Big big face do? in the face. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> like, really, that's one of my other favorite ones. It's not what you're capable of, what you're willing to do. Because I'll be like, yeah. in life, I'll be like, as a husband, I'm like, bro, it ain't what I'm capable of. I know I'm capable of Man. being this, 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 but what am I willing to do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know I'm capable of that, but what am I willing to do? I said, yo, he talking okay. that talk, bro. Yeah. He talking that talk, bro. He talked to me, bro. Coach T, Man. when you be in that room, TG, you know how it is. When, he, when you in that room, sometimes you want to be in that room with the hoodie on. You want to be like, yo, just invisible. You can't see me. I don't want to see him. I don't want yeah, to see him. Hit. I don't wanna hit his. We just got to get out of here. But then there's other times, bro, he yeah, can talk man. to you and be like, bro, Nobody say nothing to me. Ah, <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> you know, you know something I love about Coach T, but people don't know, bro. You know something I love about Coach T, people don't know, bro. And I don't know if people do. Coach T, like, really be, like, on that, like, yo, let's go on game day. Like, Coach T go, like, he, like, he seems so calm he, and cool he when he's on the sideline. Like, but he, he be so turned, turned up, up that, like the rest of us, yeah. bro. He is you watch him that, like he be like, let's go. <laughs> Yo. And you know, he love the mind back. He love the mind back. I, I used to be like, bro, He be down there when we warming up, bro. We be warming up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey. Hit him. Uh, hit him. Be like, yeah. God dang, coach. Like, yeah. bro, we about to smack him <laughs> up. I'm about to knock him out. Like, this is my homie, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Coach T, hey, you he remember on we, it, bro. Hey. Bro, you remember the pregame, bro? The worst being pregame be because you know you did a clutch. Like, yo, yo, you're going. Hey, look, you're going with Law Dog. You going with Debo. You going <laughs> with this. <laughs> yeah. Be like, bro, they too far because they got Coach T battery in they back. All right, they trying to kill each other. We are not going with them, bro. Absolutely, bro. I feel you. I be over here like, yo, who? who? Shay, Shay, Shay. I Shay, used to yo, go with you. Man. I, I, I wouldn't even know if you used to trip out too. No, <laughs> bro. No. You used to bro. trip out no. too. No, no, no. no bro. <laughs> no, no. They t- Man, the first time I seen how y'all do that was at Friday Night Lights. <laughs> And when I seen Lord Dog hit Vince, I said, oh, y'all are crazy, bro. Y'all are absolutely crazy, man. No, so don't tell me I, I ain't hit nobody like that, bro. When I saw him, man, I said, yo, what are y'all doing? That's all I could like, what is this? What are y'all doing, bro? Yeah, y'all was crazy. Y'all was crazy. I ain't hit nobody like that in the warm-up. I, no, no, no. Not like that. No, they were psychos, bro. I used to go with Spence. Me and Spence go together. Me <laughs> Because that was the thing. Me oh. and you went for a little while. Then I transitioned and started going with Shay. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I might mess with Shay. Yeah. Like, me on. and me and you went for a little bit. Me and Shay started going. Shay was like, "Cause I always do with Shay." I'm like, "Bro, he gonna be a little amped up, but I can yeah. jump and we gonna make this right." But this you work. know, Chrissy, don't, work. 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 don't jump. Right. But you're like, "Bro, let me just got work." Like, I'm gonna give you enough where it's a little bit of a thump, but we ain't hit. Don't hit me. I ain't gonna I'm gonna get you get back, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna get him yeah. ready to work. Yeah, Vince and LT. Real each other. Bro, I'll they, never forget. They were hitting like it was goal <laughs> line, fourth quarter, last play of the game. You like, bro, what are y'all doing, man? <laughs> bro, Debo used to drill dude too, bro. Bro, I, that's what I said. I would never go. Debo, Law Dog, Vince. I said I would never go with them, bro. Absolutely not, man. Dude, bro, you think about it. Dudes would be in the line like, hey, bro, you go ahead, bro. I'm not going with him. I'm not going. Oh. <laughs> Like I'm not going, bro. And don't and don't let your guy be hurt. Don't let the guy that you're supposed to be going with not be out there. Be like, nah, bro. Nope. Nah, this ain't finna happen. Nah. <laughs> hey, sir. That's funny. That is That's funny. funny. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of war bumps and games and stuff like that, we do actually have NFL preseason games back in the saddle, man. Yeah. Um, we had the Hall of Fame nice. game, obviously, uh, last week. It was just fun to see dudes out there playing, bruh. And now, obviously, you know, still has got a game coming up on Friday. But, man, did you get a chance to watch any of the Hall of Fame game, man? Uh, I didn't really get to see the Hall of Fame game too much. I kind of caught it late. Um, yeah. I ain't really see it. I ain't really get to see oh, it. I don't know. Ain't... Yeah, for me, man, it was I, just more so, it, bro. But I did see. Oh, they like, right. we 
I did uh-huh. see they let Revis yeah. Island. Yeah. And I grew I grew up on Revis Island. I was like a little like, yo, he really I used to be amazed because I'm like, wait, so they put the whole coverage over here and they let him got get Everything. that. Like he gets he a just first by himself. And it, yes. Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. we'll run our He's coverage, seen. but you got that. That was yeah. the first time I really started to see cover time. six. That was the first time I would see cover six and they would take that backside safety and have him stealing stuff on the front end. I remember <laughs> I was like, yo, how are they doing that? I was like, no, okay. that, that ain't right. Like, I seen that safety, like, is, I'm like, bro, what is this? But it's Revis. But low key, you watch what? that Jets defense now with Sauce, and they doing some <laughs> similar things, bro. They doing they some doing similar things. things. Like- Bro, Man. I see. I'm like, bro, hey, they go with that that six with that backside safety lurking, and they just saying sauce. That's yours on the backside, bro. That's you. Just take that. Man. Yeah, I can mm-hmm. do that. DJ Reed's a dog, man. People, I think All DJ right, Reed's. Yeah, one that's what I'm saying. No, I'm not. DJ Reed's mm-hmm. one of the most underrated corners in the league. Yeah. DJ Reed's a right, dog bro. over there. Like they really yeah. got, they really sticky over there, yeah. and they got an Adrian yeah. Amos that nobody's talking about. That's a dog in there. That, that secondary is really. They could get. They could rush up front. They could win up front, bro. The other front. part when you, when you can win up pieces. front and you got coverage, bro. They straight. Like they got a squad, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I mean, I just think, and I think the NFC stuff too, but I just think the AFC is so low. Like it's just so deep. The, you know? the AFC like, is crazy, bro. The AFC, because you got to think, all, I think a- not both, all of them, yeah. but the marquee quarterbacks are on the AFC, like the majority of them. Mm-hmm. When you talk about like the marquee offenses, AFC, you know, so mm-hmm. it's just a lot of talent right now, man, a lot of firepower. But that's what I mean. You know how it is. That, that, Zay, that Zay Flowers Odell look. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> that's like, what we got. Zay Flowers there. Odell, you got Mark Andrews, and you still have Isaiah Likely, who was cooking on the quiet last year. Yeah. Like, they got pieces, and that doesn't and even talk Bateman about. Is Bateman still though. around there somewhere too? Hey, bro, Bateman's hey, Bateman still what, around. Two now for Bateman? Yeah, you are going to get three now for Tom Bateman. Yeah, okay. yes, yes, bro. What a what a what, what a happy Lamar. He's paid. What a happy Lamar. They got an old line. I'm about to run. Pieces. Now he can yeah. run again. Now Lamar can spin. <laughs> yeah. Now you're yeah. Lamar. You want to do it there with the money wall, right? He's like, I'm chill, bro. I'm good. Now, yeah, you go out there and he's tripping no more. Yeah. Now you yeah. go spin. You might see this. This, yeah, yeah. This this All might right. look like MVP yeah. version. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, Come. yeah. It's different. Yeah, it's different. So, yeah. absolutely. Um, and you know what since he got and then yeah, you know what since he got and then what I can say but, with Cleveland. But what is that? What is that? They called it a calf. I remember they called Durant's a calf too. And I'm not trying to be I like that, you, but bro. I'm just saying that. It they looked said, like man, they said he's supposed to be chilling. They say he's supposed to be chilling right now, man. I think I think they yeah. should sit that down for the rest. They should that shouldn't come back till yeah. probably like week one, week two. Like we're not worried about nothing. Well, no, no, no. So check it out. They're saying week one. Jamar Chase told him, bro, don't come back to like week five. <laughs> like chill on that. Yeah. Thing. Like take time. time yeah. Bro. Like yeah. totally. I think yeah. I think I he's think like, do that. Really is cool. take time. Like, with that. He should really yeah. take time. It's time. a whole like you know how that go, like, bro. When it's calf, Achilles, like that's too close, bro. It's way too yeah, close. Yeah, that's close to home. Cause then you can mm-hmm. just take a bad step in the whole season. So. And that was a wrap. Yeah. So I'm big. And that's what you can't have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I Yeah. So I think Absolutely. they dodged a bullet up there, but I think that's definitely like take your time up there. So Yeah. And then Deshaun gotta come do something. That's what I was about to say. Like, that's a big Sean. question mark because we know the money, we know the <laughs> expectations, but we know what it looked like last year also. You gotta come so, do something. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You gotta but do they got, bro, they they so, they did some stuff, bro. Like, I know they feeling good about their situation. Like the AFC is crazy. The AFC North is crazy right now, man. AFC North is crazy. Yeah. Heck yeah. AFC but shoot, man. Crazy Speaking general. of though, we, we got multiple AFC North teams that are gonna actually be in action this weekend or this week coming up. Uh-huh. Uh, so obviously we had uh the Browns, they played on the, in the Hall of Fame game. We play Friday, and then I want to say Baltimore is playing this weekend as well. So yeah, it's uh preseason games on Thursday night too. But obviously we got ours on Friday night. And I was gonna ask you, man, even though it is preseason, what are you expecting to see? You know, what, what are some things that, you know, we talk about that first preseason game, man. 
even talking with your personal experiences, what was that mindset like for you when it was time to actually step into that stadium after, you know, these first couple weeks of just practice only? I mean, it's good to hit other people, you know. Um, I'm, I'm sure they've been in there going live. So it's like, man, we get to go hit Absolutely some other people. Absolutely going live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We get, we get to hit some other people. I've been tackling. I know I'm a... I know how I take my angles, you know. Um, I think offensively, you feel pretty good. You've been getting tackled. You've been hit. You you know how you're holding the ball. You're taking some contact. I think you feel pretty good. You're just excited to see some other people. Excited to see how I go, like, read your keys, you know. See some people who haven't seen that move that you've used. That's like, all right, this is working. You know how I go, because it's like. You might, it's somebody like might be sitting on your move after they sitting yeah. on your move after three four days like man yeah. you gotta you gotta get in your bags like you gotta get in your bag but it's like you might get hit them with your main move that like yeah it's working yeah. he hasn't seen it you know uh just different stuff like that so it's like preseason is always a good time especially for guys that's you know trying to either get on or kind of brighten their star up a little bit so it's always a good yeah. time um man I'm you excited obviously you know. Bro? Um, you remember your I first do. one? I do. We played the Redskins. I, I swear we did too, bro. For our first one. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, bro. What? I like that, man. I was in that 4 9. I was in 49, oh. bro. We played the Redskins. I'm at the no. mic. It's whatever. So you, it. you had the 49 one. I was in a 45 <laughs> playing the mic as well, bro. Yeah, what a time. What a time, bro. <laughs> I like it, bro. I like it. Shoot, man. But I know, man, for me, man, thinking about this Steelers Bucks action, I'm really excited to see, man, when you talk about a Kendrick in this role, what does that look like in stadium? When we talk mm-hmm. about a Darnell Washington, he's another dude who's been putting together a really good mm-hmm. camp as a receiver, as yeah. a blocker. Like, what does that look like now in stadium? You know, can you carry over when it's no longer familiarity? When it's like you talked about, right? You might have been seeing the same people since OTAs, since rookie minicamp for some of these cats. So you get real <laughs> familiar with what they do. You know they platinum right. move. You know how they set it up. You know everything. Like, you got to go three, four moves deep in your bag in terms of, like, training right. camp just because of how repetitive it's become. But that changes when we go and see somebody else. Like you said, when it's somebody that's, that you're not familiar with, how do you respond to that? How do you handle just the fatigue of being in a stadium? Because that's the other part that you, man, we both can attest to that. It changes, man, when you get in that stadium, you be like, whew, whew. like, bro, I'm in shape, but why I'm breathing a little bit heavier right now? With the loud bullets, you know? And then for me, man, them inside linebackers. Who gonna continue to step up? Who's gonna continue to separate themselves, man? Which guy out that group continues to just, you know, prove what they're capable of, whether it's Quan, whether it's Mark Robinson, or is it Cole, or is it a Landon? Like whoever it is of that group, I just wanna see continued production, continued growth with that unit as well, man. Can we get Quan and Mark in at the same time? Can we see that? Does so that the way they've been doing it, so the way they've been doing it, it's been Quan and uh Cole. And they've been doing Mark and a Landon. And then, uh, yeah, and then it's been uh, Tanner. They've been Tanner and Nick together. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Nick, okay. Nick, quick. Nick, quick. Yeah, man. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, I like it. Awesome. So, man, idiot. So, so who, who of the group, though, man? In terms of whether it's rookie, free agents, whoever, one guy on offense, one guy on defense that you looking forward to checking out come Friday night, man. Steelers versus Bucks. I mean, of course, you know, I'm excited to see that Kenny Robinson, man. I'm excited to see. Oh, shout out to uh, Kenny, man. And Kenny's been putting yeah. together a dope camp. He's been taking full advantage camp. of his opportunities, man. I'm super excited to see what that looks like in stadium. 100%, bro. 100%. I'm excited to see the young ball hawk in stadium. Uh, especially as a Steeler, I'm excited to see him, you know, have good eyes, good discipline, break on the ball well. I'm excited to see him do that. Um, offensively, I'm excited to see Darnell Washington. I really am. I want to see that. I think that'll be the 
first. You know, I think that's going to score if you're betting, man. I think that's going to score, yeah. especially, you Let's know, get it. I think, that, you know, the wear and tear they hit you off. I think that's going to score. I think tight ends are always real prevalent in preseason. Yeah. You know? but, yeah without um, a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see him. And I'm definitely just excited to see these linebackers, man. Like, that's, yeah. I think that's the, the show of the defense. Like, that's what you're trying to see that with. What those yeah. linebackers gonna look like? How they fit up? How they eyes fit up? How they find the ball? So I mean, that's definitely I'm gonna be tuned in on that, like that part of the game. Well, let's get it, then, man. Let's get it. I like that, bro. I like that. Well, man, that is gonna do it for us, bro. Like we've been at this thing. I know you've been fresh out of training camp, but y'all gotta practice tomorrow. I feel like y'all. Yeah, you probably do gotta practice tomorrow, huh? You probably got an early morning, man. You gotta Back get out to that it. thing. Right back at it. Hey, man. Right back, back at it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's but y'all see TG, a man of the people. Y'all see that, man. He knows the content needed. You know what I'm saying? He knows y'all thirsty for this still the content, man. He trying to give it. He trying to provide y'all with that drink that you need. All man. Right? Y'all see that, man. Y'all see what I'm he's doing. I'm trying to get on the board with y'all you, Y'all see what he's doing, man. Y'all see what he's doing. I get on the doing. board with you. I, oh, yeah. How get on said, the said, board he with you. Like, Hey, hey, look, hey, look, we got Master Most. We got Chalk Talk with TG, all right? T Coach Garvin's Corner, all right? Oh. We're going to make it happen. We're going to yeah. make something shake. You know what we on, bro. You know what we on. <laughs> Let's get it, bro. Let's get it, man. But shoot, salute you as always, my brother, man. Definitely appreciate you, man. We'll definitely do this thing again, man. My dog, my dog. Well, y'all hit that like button one more time. And don't forget to subscribe, man. Until next time, baby. Peace.